Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 10WT Friday, where every single week, we help you build the habits to transform your body and your life. At the 10-Week Transformation, we teach you a five-step framework. It starts with building your big, which is your why behind your fitness. Then we help you set your success indicator, which is your X to Y by when. Then we help you identify your progress indicators, which are two to three weekly goals that will inevitably progress you closer to your overall goal. Next, we help you plan your pills, which are micro habits that set you up for success amidst the chaos of your week. And then finally, we help you set up your scoreboard, which gives you the feeling of game on. I promise you, if you do these steps, your habits are going to be rock solid, your self-confidence is going to skyrocket, and you'll be on the path to your best you. Every single week, we help individuals who are hungry for growth optimize their potential. I'm your host, Nick Carrier, and today I'm super excited to talk about how the most successful people in the world approach their goals. I will never forget, it was a sunny Sunday morning, it was a beautiful day, started off with a little jog, a couple laps around the track with a light jacket on, but then it was race day. This was race day back in 2021, I told myself that I was going to see how fast I could run a one mile run, and on this particular day, I ran as hard as I possibly could. I had trained for a long time and I crossed the finish line. I was panning as heavy as I possibly could. My heart was beating out of my chest. And then my coach turned the stopwatch around and showed me the time. And it said, you see, back in 2021, you'll have to wait. And back in 2021, I set the goal of doing a one mile run. It's been a fun test ever since we did it back in grade school. And so I was like, you know what? I kind of want to see what I can do right now. And so I ran out and did a trial run and I've always been pretty fast, and my trial run was a 5.08, and then I was talking with my run running coach that I hired, what do you think I can get down to? Like, how fast, how much faster do you think I can go? And he said, well, I think 4.50 would be a really good goal. And I said, 4.45 just sounds so much cooler. So we ended up going with 4.45. So I intentionally trained for 10 straight weeks, which called for a running program of running about five to six days every single week. I would go out and do some long runs. I would go to the track and do a couple of track workouts during the week, and I trained hard. I mean, I had my mind set on hitting this goal, and then finally, it was that Sunday morning, and it was race day, and I felt pretty confident going into it that I had the ability to hit 445 based off of the progress that I had been making in my workouts, and so I started off, and every single lap, my coach was calling out my splits, so the first lap, I was on pace, second lap, on pace. Third lap, on pace. If you know a mile, it's four laps. On that fourth lap, I mean, I was uncomfortable to say the least. My legs started feeling like tree trunks. Every single step was harder and harder and harder. And I had to remember why the heck I wanted to begin this thing in the first place because your why isn't just what gets you started, but it's what keeps you going when what you started gets tough. And so I'm on this fourth lap, fourth lap. My heart's beating out of my chest. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm feeling like I'm on pace. And then I cross the finish line. I lay down on my back. I'm panning as hard as possible like a dog in the heat of the summer. And then he turns around the stopwatch and shows me my time. 4.46. 4.46. The goal was 4.45. And I hit 4.46. Unbelievable. You see, I did this on Instagram Live and I had a lot of people ask me afterwards, oh my gosh, were you just so mad that you were one second short of this? And I really sat there and thought about it. And I was like, I'm, I don't really feel that mad. I don't really feel that upset. One reason was because I felt like it gave it everything I had. But the main reason is because the way that I approach goals. You see, goals are great, but I don't set goals just about achieving the end result. I set goals based off of the person who I become in the process of its pursuit. Oftentimes, people think about goal setting where like, if I don't hit that goal, then it's a failure. But no, I set goals based off of who I become in the process. I set goals based off of the things that I learn, the people that I meet, the discipline that I prove to myself that I have. And you can transform throughout the process whether or not you end up achieving the end result. I just had Dr. Jason Selk, who is a top performance coach, 
in business and with athletes. He worked for the St. Louis Cardinals and helped them win two World Series in a matter of six years. And he talked about every single goal that he has anybody set. They're looking to break it down into the process. And then they judge and evaluate themselves, not on did they win, but did you do the process? You see so much on here. I talk about the importance of following through with the promises that you make to yourself. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. We set goals, but then we try not to channel our energy too much on the goal. We try to channel our energy on can we follow through with the promises that we make to ourselves? Can we follow through and execute on the process? And why is that so important? Because if we're just focusing on the end result, we're focusing on something we cannot control. You see, I coach so many people that dwell on the number on the scale so much. They step on the scale three times a day and they're constantly worried about what the number is that's going to pop up. But rather than focusing on the number on the scale, how about let's focus on the process? How about let's focus on tracking our meals? How about let's focus on getting our workouts in? How about let's focus on tracking our water intake? Because those are the drivers of weight loss. Those are the drivers of the performance of weight loss. And so you see, if we The ironic thing about it is if we just track the process and we focus on the process, the scoreboard and the result is going to take care of itself. If you focus on the scoreboard, if you focus on the result, it ain't going to move. That dial is going to be like that pot of boiling water that you're staring at and it doesn't even start to boil. We have to find a way to be process focused rather than outcome focused. And so how do you actually do that? I think that's one of the beautiful things about the 10-week transformation is We are so process focused. And the way that we do that is, yes, we obviously set our goal. We set where we want to be by the end of the 10 weeks. We have a result in mind. But then we identify two to three weekly goals that we believe are going to get us there and we believe that are going to make us progress. And then when we identify those goals, we track those goals on a daily and a weekly basis. We track our workouts. We track our meals. We track our water. We maybe track our alcohol. We maybe track our sweets, our snacking on a daily and weekly basis, and we let those things fulfill our fulfill ourselves and make us happy and provide us with that sense of encouragement and with that sense of progress. And then me as a coach is I praise people on the execution of the process rather than movement of the needle with the result. And when I, you praise the process, that's get what gets repeated. And that what That's what shifts the definition of success inside everybody's mind. And so if you're somebody who obsesses on the result, you're somebody who obsesses with the number on the scale, try to find a way to break it down. What are your daily goals? What are your weekly goals? And track those things because if you track them, you're channeling energy towards them. And if you channel your energy towards them, that's what you focus on. But if you're just constantly weighing yourself, then you're going to continually be thinking about that on a regular basis. And so if we can set the end goal, but then define two to three weekly goals, if we can track those things, then we'll praise the process and praise the execution of the process. Y'all, this is so massive. This is such a massive mindset shift when it comes to goal setting. Not only will it allow you to achieve more of your goals, but it will keep you in a better headspace in the pursuit of them, and it'll keep you in a better headspace once you actually do either achieve or maybe come up slightly short of whatever that goal is. Absolutely massive. If you feel like you need help with focusing on the process and not the result, if you're somebody who dwells on the number with the number on the scale over and over and over again, then the 10-week transformation is for you, and luckily for you, if you're in Nashville, we're starting one in March 20th. March 20th, we're starting the next round of the 10-week transformation. It's going to be the best round of the 10-week transformation yet because at Best You, one of our core values is we carry a best I've ever been, worst I'll ever be attitude. And not just with ourselves, but with our products and our services. So the 10-week transformation will always be the best it's ever been, but the worst it'll ever be. We are always improving on it and helping our clients achieve their goals, focus on the process. And so if you want to join, go to nickcarrier.com slash 10WT. And what's beautiful about it is if you're not in Nashville, you can start anytime. If you're not in Nashville, you can start next week if you want to. And so you go to nickcarrier.com slash 10WT and sign up for that as well. But y'all, let's focus on the process. Let's define the result that we want, but then identify the process, the weekly goals, and then track those weekly goals on a regular basis. If we do that, we will undoubtedly get closer to our health and fitness goals and undoubtedly get closer and closer to your best you.